down. I'm so mad right now, bro. I can literally punch a wall. Hit me a sport. If you ever see this, you are trash. You and everything you stand for, pretty much. I won these shoes, right? It's Tuesday. Tuesday is when they usually let people know if they win the shoe. I win the shoe. I'm going to even show you right now. Screenshot. If it will like show. It should probably still be up there. Somewhere over here. Won the shoe. It's Tuesday. I work. So like any other normal person. So I call them and tell them. Ask them, can I get the shoe early? They say, nah, of course. It was a long shot, but I was like, can I get the shoe early? Because I work. And they're like, nah. I was like, cool. What time do you open? They open at 9. Obviously, like any other normal person, my job starts at 8. 8 to 5. Obviously, they said on, on that Thursday, which is today, Thursday the 27th, they said that uh, they couldn't hold the shoe and they sold the shoes that they did hold past 12. So I call them and I say, yo, please can I at least make it to 12, 30. 30 minutes, dog. Because I get off at lunch at like 11. I mean, not 11, 12. And then I could go anywhere I want. So I get there at 1225, I pull up to the counter and the person says, manager didn't save him. I said, wait, what? I called Tuesday. The person I was talking to said that the manager said it'd be cool. So then they looking around like, oh bro, I don't know what to tell you. Like, oh bro, I, I know what to tell you. I'm about to get my shoes. So then I'm I'm mad. I'm calling corporate. I call corporate. Corporate don't do nothing. It's some lady, probably elderly, and she over here like, oh sorry, we don't, you don't, uh, we can't really do anything. You want a, a, a coupon? 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 And first of all, bro, she didn't even say coupon. She said coupon. I said, bro, a coupon, bro. I was so mad, bro. I freaking won these shoes, dog. They made me glad it wasn't no exclusive shoes, bro. It was just some, like, freaking denim threes. But still, bro, I won the shoe, bro. I want my shoe, bro. They done sold it to one of their homeboys, bro. I'm mad, bro. I'm even going to tell you the... the um, the store. I don't even live near this store, bro. I had to. I was. I had to take my lunch break, drive here, and spend my whole lunch break driving, bro, just to get these shoes. I was late coming back to work, bro. It's the one in freaking Concord, bro. Uh, Carolina Plays Mall, something like that, bro. I'm not even from around here, bro. If you go to, if you go to that Hibbit Sports, they are trash, bro. They are trash. They'll sell you shoes, man. Corporate offered me a coupon. I even get my shoe. And then when uh, corporate called the manager, the manager said he he holds shoes it's part of their policy. Policy. It's the, the app say I can call to schedule a time to pick it up. There's no policy. Give me my shoe. What are you doing? Bro, I'm mad, bro. End of the video, bro. I'm mad, bro. I'm mad, bro. Just know, man, if I ever see a Hibbit Sports employee or a Hibbit Sports fan, anything like that, it's on site. It's really on site. But you want to know something even crazier, bro? I just had to get back on here and say this, bro. I was so confident in Hibbit Sports, bro. I've never encountered anything like that. I was so confident the store had my shoe, bro. I didn't even try on the Nike app or really any other app, bro. No app, bro, because I already had the shoe. What would be the point? I already had the shoes, bro. And that's how they going to do me, dog? Bro, imagine, bro. You happy, bro. You got the shoes. You go up there. You got them reserved. So now you know they can't sell your shoes. You talk to the manager, though, the manager. And you go up there and they do that? They hit you with that? <laughs> All right, bro. I got, I got something here, boys. I got, I got something for you, bro. I got something for you.